So, as you can see, I'm making a video in the, my living room, and I'm not making it outside or in a garage. But this this video is gonna gonna be be about the mind, and whatever day part of day or time of day you're watching this. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notification for future videos. And leave any comments if you have any questions, concerns, or if you have any recommendations. So, as I said, um, we're going to be talking about the mind. And I know I talked about this before, but I'm going to talk about this from a different angle. Because the thing is about us believers probably with most believers is that we underestimate how how powerful our mind really is like let's keep keep it real we really do and when we underestimate how power it is then we don't we feel we miss out on the on how how powerful and how god can use our mind to do so so many extraordinary things and the thing is that about our minds is like it is a powerful computer that, computer that God has created created a very complex computer computer that God has created and it could hear two things it could make you do extraordinary things or to hold you back and what you feed and what you feed your mind that's what you that's what you're gonna become that's what you're gonna be who you are and when you believe and the thing is when you believe in something, like let's let's say you don't believe you can do this. You don't you you don't believe that you get that girl. You can you can't get that get that car or, or build that business. You don't believe that. And the more and the more you start to believe that, the more in your mind's gonna become convinced that I can't do it. And that's what's gonna hold you back. But that doesn't mean mean it's gonna be permanent. You can change you can change your mind mindset, but it's gonna take a lot of work. You see how powerful your mind is? Your mind believes that when you believe in something that you can't do anything, that's gonna be ingrained in your mind and that's what is gonna hold you back from, from success. Uh, and hold you back from having faith having faith in God. And when we give our life to Jesus, we're making a decision to follow Jesus. We're using our mind to make a decision to follow Jesus. And when enemy comes at us, when whatever attacks he throws at us, we always have a choice to either go back to go back to our simple lifestyle or continue to follow Jesus and walk the walk and walk in spirit for not the size of flesh. And guess what? We we make the choice to continue to follow Jesus. Cause because of what he has done for us. He did this and that. And we're trust and the thing is that we make we we make the, the mental decision to trust in God even when we don't understand that that. And the more we make those kind of decisions, not only will your faith become stronger, but so will your mind become stronger. Because it says in Romans chapter twelve verses verses one or two, is that be ye not conformed to the world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And God is showing me that that your that your mind is very important. It really is, and you need to be careful what you what you put like of what you're consuming, like what kind of entertainment you're consuming, like what kind of social social media content you're consuming. And let's say you're having a hard time talking talking to girls. You know why you're having a hard time talking to talking to girls like normal human beings? It's quite simple. You. You're watching. You're watching that that disgusting corn, and you watch red pill content. And I can tell you this: there's some red pill. These red pill people who love to, who love to, to pump and dump these women. They watch pornography too. You didn't know that, did you? And you're listening to them. And the, the problem is that you don't view women as you don't view women as human beings. You view them as sexual objects that you just put your meat into, into them. I know. We are ever challenges. And I, I personally personally have this mindset. I ain't, I ain't perfect or perfect. 
Like, let's keep it real. And when, and if you want to tell the girls, if you want to build that business, and if you wanna, if you wanna work out, then you need to change change the way you think. Like people people don't really emphasize this enough that the brain, the brain is a powerful computer God has created. Let me say that again. The brain is a powerful computer, po- powerful computer, very complex that God has created. It's very complex. It can be and can you use it use it to to do extraordinary things or allow to hold you allow your mindset to hold you back. This is what you call having a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. And I know as believers, we need to have a growth mindset, especially when we're walking in Jesus Christ. Cause one of the things the enemy loves to do is attack attack our minds. And if you get if you could get if you could get into our minds, if we allow them to, to step into to our to our territory, our mental territory, then he could he could make he could drop, drift us away from the most high. And we can't have that as believers. And that's why we need we need to combat these any evil thoughts that the enemy tries to throw, throw at us. And one of the keys to have a have a growth mindset and have a and have a good mindset that that is that is faith, faithful to, to Jesus, that meditates on the Lord Jesus Christ, and that it it believes that that it, he could that this that you could do all strength through Christ Jesus who strengthens you. Then you need you need to not only do you need to have faith in Christ, but you need to put in the work. You need to stop. You need to stop watching that that pornography. You need to stop consuming that red pill content. You need to start getting in the Word of God. Because the word of God is what's going to change the way you think. It's going to w- change the way you view certain things. It's going to change the way you view the world. It's going to change the way you view women. Not in a bad way, but in a good way. And I do agree with the, with the fact that the red pill, the red pill says that you do need to provide, protect, and lead a woman. Yeah, I do agree with that. But I don't agree with the way they, tr- they treat the women, though. Mm-mm, no. I don't agree with them pumping up, and y'all should not be watching that, because it's gonna, because if they, if they if they're saying like women men and women can't be friends, then that's a that's a lust problem, that's a lust problem right there. And that's why I try to stay away from red, red pill content, cause I don't want that messing with my mindset. I don't want that mess get messing with my my mind, because remember, brothers and sisters, you are what you consume. So, my solution the solution is is that y- y'all need to read the Word of God. And I said this before, but every believer needs to read the Word. Must read the Word of God. It's not a recommendation; it is a requirement for every believer. Because if you if you allow if you read the Word Word of God, you're allowing God to minister to you. You're allowing God to speak to you. And do the by the power, you're, you're allowing the Holy Spirit to minister unto you. And you're learning of God's ways and His ways compared to your old ways. And you learn His vows. You learn how He sees things. You learn His perspective. I'm not saying you'll, be, you'll become all-knowing because as humans, we're finite and God is infinite. But when you read when you read your Bible and studying it, the Holy Spirit is, working, is, is not only work, working on your faith, not only are you building up your faith in your relationship with God, but you're, you're also cha- changing changing your mindset as well, because your mindset is important when you're walking with Jesus. Because when you have a when you have a powerful mind, empowered by the Holy Spirit, then then whatever the whatever enemy tries to throw to you, whatever kind of thoughts he tries to throw to you, guess what? Because because you're reading the Word of God so much. You can recite scripture against those thoughts. Just like Jesus recited scripture against the enemy. Those thoughts are going to be nothing. And the thing is that when an enemy tries to, t- tries to tell you something, oh, you this and that, remember you did this? Guess what? You know a lot of those thoughts that define you because you're reading the word of God so much that you see, 
you start to view how God views you. You because you know your identity in Christ. Yet those you're not gonna allow those thoughts, those thoughts, those bad thoughts, like I'm not good enough. I'm I was a loveless person, I was a private person to define you. You won't. So that's why it's important that if you want a good mindset, not only do you need to have faith in Christ, you need to put in the work. Like, if, like, I'm not, if you think I'm justifying faith in, faith in works, hey, pay to be a very, very bad news, but you, you need to, just, you need, you can't be lazy when it comes to have, having faith in Christ. You can't. Yeah, you, you gotta be doing something. You gotta have something going on in your life. Like, I don't know, like YouTube. But you're biz building a business, building, starting a fitness business, or doing MMA. Have something going on in your life. Like, especially that as men. He, we, we can't be lazy with our faith. Like, come on now. Like, in, like get into something, bro. Bro, him. But seriously, though, you need to put in the work if you want to change your mindset. Because the Holy... Because while while the Holy Spirit does your part, you need to do your part also. You need to stop consuming consuming certain certain content. You heck, don't consume any any social media content at all. You need to be be in the Word of God. And you need to and most important, you need to have faith in Christ. Believe that He'll change your mindset. And as you could, and grow in your relationship with, relationship with God. That's that's what you gotta do if you wanna have. Have to have a growth mindset. I'm not saying it's gonna be perfect or anything, but it'll be better than what it used to be. Anyway, hope y'all got something out of this con, out of this. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification notifications for future videos. And until then, don't be malicious. Follow Christ.